the term critical race theory has stirred up controversy in political circles. The network's Helen Acevedo clears up the debate. Critical race theory is becoming a more prominent topic across the country, and a number of politicians are getting it wrong. Critical race theory is a Marxist doctrine that rejects the vision of Martin Luther King Jr. It's basically teaching kids to hate our country and to hate each other based on race. Meet professor and scholar Kimberly Crenshaw, one of the founders of the critical race theory, which was developed in the late 1980s. In short, critical race theory is an approach based on the idea that the history of white supremacy has a very real and lasting impact on our society and institutions today. Critical race theory just says, let's pay attention to what has happened in this country and how what has happened in this country is continuing to create differential outcomes so we can become that country that we say we are. So why is the term causing such a stir in conservative political circles today? Opponents are concerned critical race theory will be forced on students. To date, at least eight states have taken steps to ban topics surrounding critical race theory without naming it. To be clear, critical race theory does not say that someone is racist based off the color of their skin or that someone should feel ashamed of the color of their skin. Still, parents are speaking out at school board meetings. Just because I do not want critical race theory taught to my children in school does not mean that I'm a racist, damn it! Here at FIU in West Miami Dade, administrators created a division of diversity, equity, and inclusion to have these discussions. On their site, it states that their goal is to build an intellectually vibrant climate that sustains inclusiveness and engagement in their diverse community. In West Miami Dade, Helena Acevedo, South Florida Media Network.